What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger of a team to showcase for you guys today. We are rocking out with Gudra and our Balaba team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds every day to scroll down a little bit and subscribe to the channel. It really goes a long way. I got to thank all of my subscribers to the channel. You guys grow as a content creator and it really go goes a long way. But before we get started here with today's team preview, got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Dragonair Jordan. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I will be linking your channel down in the description below, so go show him some Jeans love. But he sent me this team, he was like, yo, Jeans, I got this team for you with Arbalava, and he kind of named it the Christmas Ornament or Christmas Tree team, considering Arbalava looks like a Christmas tree with ornaments on it. And since the holidays are right around the corner, I figured I'd bring you guys this team and showcase it off. And that, that goes to say, I just, hopefully you guys have a happy holidays, hopefully you guys are staying safe, all that good stuff. With all that out of the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have Grimmsnarl. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I absolutely love this Grimmsnarl set. It's got Prankster, it's got Lay Clay, alongside with Spirit Break, Reflect, Light Screen, and Parting Shot. I feel like this support Pokemon can go on any team. Second Pokemon is going to be Gudra, and I have not used this Pseudo Legendary yet, so I'm super excited to actually use it and try it out in Scarlet and Violet. It has Sap Sipper as stability, the Light Form as item, and then a great move set of Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Thunder, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be our Weather Setter slash Weather Counter slash Tailwind Setter, Pelipper. It has Drizzle alongside the Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got Hurricane, Tailwind for Speed Control, Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves, and then it has Helping Hand for its last move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. This Arcanine set is top tier. It has Intimidate, Citrus Berry as its item, and then you got Foyer Blitz, Snarl, will o -Wisp, and Protect. Really cannot go wrong with it considering you have the Intimidate and will o -Wisp for physical attack drops, and then you got Snarl for special attack drops. So you can really just control the opposing opponent's attack stats all around. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Bronzong over here. Bronzong is going to be a solid Trick Room counter for us, or if we want to set the Trick Room, we can set it with him. It has Levitate alongside with the Chesto Berry, then it's got Iron Defense, Body Press, Trick Room, and Rest. Final Pokemon is going to be Arbalaba. And this Pokemon is really cool. I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to use its uh, new ability, which is Seed Sour. So every time this Pokemon gets hit, it will set the terrain. So instead of just coming out and setting terrain like uh, Tapu Bulu used to do, that uh, legendary from Sun and Moon, this Pokemon needs to be hit, and then it can set the terrain. So once it kind of gets the terrain set up, it can really hit hard with Giga Drain and get a lot of HP recovery back. This thing has a weakness policy, and then its other three moves are going to be Dazzling Beam, Earth Power, and Protect. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Gudra and Christmas Tree team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Gengar team right here, alongside with Dragapult, Sabai. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a Mono Ghost team? It is a Mono Ghost team. Check it out. Oh my god. I wish I had like Meow Scarada here or. King Gambit, the one video I'm not using those Pokemon, I could really dump on this team with. But yeah, Mono Ghost team, all ghosts. He also has the Skelly Dirge and the Annihilate. Looking really, really cool. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could go into Arbalava. I don't really mind Arbalava. I kind of dig it. I kind of want to lead it. I kind of want to lead it. I could also set up the screens with you. And then I could go in with, or I could lead a Pelipper. Pelipper's not too bad. I don't mind the Pelipper lead either. Let me go Pelipper. Maybe set up a Tailwind, kind of get effort that way. I know Sable is here and Sable could be a problem, but I'm kind of liking Pelper. I'll go Gudra in the back end, and then last but not least, um, I go Arcanine. I think like Arcanine's got to be the play, right? Yeah, I'm going Arcanine. I'm going to go Arcanine. Does Arbalava have Protect on it? It does, so I could Protect turn one if I wanted to. If he goes into a, say, he goes into a Annihilate, I don't want him Final Gambiting into me. So I can legit just protect that and then drop a hurricane and pretty much take it out. But this one's going to be a close battle, yo. This is a sick team we're going up against in battle number one. Mono Ghost. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. So let's see how our opponent does or what their opponent ends up doing. Say Blind Gengar. Okay, that ain't too bad. Say Blind will o -Wisp. Um, We're special attacking, so I'm kind of cool with that. You can also fake me out turn one. This could be a play. Our Bob could get after this. I could potentially Terrasalize and just drop a Dazzle Beam. I'm really leaning towards. Or I can just go straight into a Giga Drain, or I can go into an Earth Power. I'm going to go into an Earth Power here. I want to do as much damage as I can to that. And then, uh, since he is going to probably fake out my Pelipper, I am going to help him hand the shot. So that's the only thing I would have to guess, right? Is a fake out coming out from the Sableye. 
If I can get off this helping hand, which should come out before that fake out, we should be thriving. We should be thriving. I'm waiting all day. So helping hand's gonna fly here. I'm guessing he's faking out the Pelipper, right? Considering that's our tailwind setter. Let it go from there. There's fake out into Pelipper. So great call from us. We get at least a little bit of value out of that. And he's gonna sludge bomb me. At least we survive. That's a solid survive. But we get a poison. No. We get poison. That hurts the soul. We are gonna set the terrain though. I don't mind that. We get a little bit of terrain action. We get some HP at the end of every single turn. And Earth Power is going to fly. Actually, that's gonna neglect some of the poison damage, which I really, really like. Weakness policy should KO. Unless this thing's Sash, which is definitely could be Sash. Earth Power is going to fly. And it brings it down to Sash. Okay, so Sash is up. Um, does poison damage come first? I don't think it really matters because that shouldn't be enough poison damage to take us out. So we're all gonna get our HP restored a tad bit here. Um, wow. Never mind, that poison does a little bit too much damage. So from here, I'm just going to gleam. I'm gonna try to get off a of gleam. And I guess I'll tailwind up. Kinda hurts the soul. And I got poison there. I really got poison. That hurts. That really does hurt. So I'm gonna end up tailwind here, taking speed control, and then I think we should be fine with Gooch just rolling in here for some muddy waters. I was gonna terrestrialize my uh my grass Pokemon too, but it, would, it, would, it wouldn't have done anything because we had fairy typing. So it would just sludge bomb me and dump on me regardless. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Our Bob was able to actually soak up some shot. Bring Gengar down to Focus Ash. And after we get off this Tailwind, I feel like we should be fine. Feel like we should be fine. Light Screen's going to get set, set up. That's actually a really smart play. And then he's got to be taking out my Arbala, right? No, you're not. You're not. Do not get another poison on me. Thank you. So he does not take my, out my Arbala. I wish I would have went for a Giga Drain at this point. Would have been a way better play. This thing has the barrier to protect it from fairy moves. And Gleam's gonna fly here, taking out the Gengar, and then our Balaba is going to go down, gonna go down to the uh, poison damage. Not too bad, not too bad. Not a bad start, I, I would say. Light Treen obviously is going to do me a little dirty, but poison takes me out here, correct? I'm pretty sure it does. If I can get one more turn, that would be amazing. Nah, we're dead. That's just as I figured. We are dead. We are dead. Okay. So, Gujra, I think we bring out Gujra here. Because I can freely Muddy Water here, too. Muddy Water can rip. Rip in the rain, but again, Light Screen's gonna be a problem. Golden Go is going to fly out here. I'm trying to think, does this Pokemon. It doesn't have any Dragon moves. Hmm. I think we're fine with that. I think we're fine with just popping a Muddy Water. And then going into. I could Wide Guard the shot. It could go for a Make It Rain. Could definitely go for a Make It Rain. Since I just straight up out speed, I might double down and save lie. Yeah, I'm gonna double down and save lie slide here. I'm all about it. Going to go protect. That's totally fine. If we can outspeed this uh, save lie, we should be thriving here and picking up some KOs. I'm all about it. Again, light screen's gonna be a pain, but still, I'm really, I'm really liking where we're sitting here. So muddy water flies, just gets a crit. Says see you later, save lie. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Solid turn from her Gudra, and we can kind of just roll from there. I could terrestrialize if I want, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna change the straight water typing. I think I am gonna ch change the straight water typing. Just to get that boost. While the rain's here, we got the tailwind set up. We might as well terrestrialize. We'll see. Final Pokemon's gonna come out here, and it is, it is going to be Skelly Skelly Dirge. The so Skelly Dirge probably has grass typing. So I'm not too worried about it, especially because we have Arcanine in the back end. So I'm still going to Thrasslash just to do as much damage as possible. And if it wants to change into Grass Typing, we're just going to Hurricane into that slot as well. I'm with it. I'm with it, yo. Solid first battle. Going up against such a cool team, though. I feel like his team and my team are both really cool all around. We got some cool off-meta Pokemon. They're doing a cool little Mono Ghost team. We have Guja. We have Arbalava. Everything's thriving out. And then we got my boy Paloop. Pelipper over here, which I love this Pokemon so much. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. Again, I do think he's going to Terrasalize the Skelly Dirge into Grass. But if not, we just pick up the easy KO. We just pick up the easy KO in the rain. But yeah, Guja's, Guja's type nice. And if he wants to go for a Grass move, I have Sap Sipper, which would be really nice. So there's Terrasalization. Again, I do believe it is going to be Skelly Dirge. And it is. Is it Grass? Like I, like I said... It is grass. That's totally fine. We have a hurricane going right in that slot. We have speed all day. This match is over. This match is over with. Match is over with. Muddy Water's going to fly. Who dodged that? 
That's fine. That's fine. Skelly Dirge dodge it. But that's not fine. Hold up. Hold up. Match is not over yet. Abort mission. Abort mission. Hurricane Snow KO. Yo, Pelipper with a crit. Pelipper ripping. Pelipper's playing no game set. We just got lucky. Back to back crits, but that kind of makes up for that RNG of us missing both muddy water shots. Shadow Ball flies. KOs you, and now this guy's just in a bad position. We have Ark and I coming out here with Flare Blitz. Even in the rain, it's still going to be able to chuck up some damage. But did we really just miss bo both Muddy Waters? What's the math on that? What, what is mu I got to see Muddy Waters actually. I thought it was 90 or 95. So to miss both, that's that's kind of... That's like a, a low percentage of happening. Intimidate comes out here. It's a special attacker. It don't matter. And Muddy Water is 90... Oh, no. It's 85 accuracy. Okay. I still want to go for it. I'm going to go for Muddy Water, and then I'm just going to straight Flare Blitz into this Pokemon. I believe our opponent cancels and we take battle number one. That'd be that'd be that'd be awesome. Solid first battle victory. Let's go. Let's go. What a way to start off today's video. I think our opponent's thinking of ways of how they could possibly win this battle. And I don't think there's a way. I mean, probably protect this turn, right? I would think a protect would come through here just to waste out the last turn of tailwind. Yeah. So protect comes out here. But I feel like whatever Pokemon you go after is kind of the other one's just going to dump on you. And I don't think you can KO any of our Pokemon in one shot. And you might not even be faster than any of my Pokemon. That's the, th that's the thing. Golden Goose is not that fast. It's probably faster than Guja, but I don't think it would be faster than my Arcanine. I could Snarl it. I could definitely Snarl it down. But Rain's gone. Rain is gone, so I might just drop a Meteor or even a Thunder. But Muddy Water's our best bet. We are terrored in this typing, so I'm gonna do that. I think Flare Blitz picks up the KO, no problem. This is light work. It's light work. Not really our opponent had a great match with us, but I think we just had the upper hand on him. Yep, there goes the Flare Blitz. Takes him out in one shot. No problem. Match number one goes to your boy. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's go back to back for today's video versus another Armor Rouge and Indeedy team. I've been seeing these teams all across the rank ladder. Hopefully we can counter it up and grab ourselves a win. The other four Pokemon are going to be Murkrow, the Meowth, Gravata, Annihilate. And then last but not least, they have the Mouse Hold. So I could definitely see Annihilate being a lead. And I'm trying to think of ways to counter that. Pelipper wouldn't be bad considering I can just Hurricane into it. So I'm really liking Pelipper as lead. So that's exactly who I am going to lead. So Pelipper's going to come in here for the lead. Um, I might lead it with Gudra. But I do have Protect on Gudra. If they lead the Arm Rouge combo, I can legit just Muddy Water through it. So I'm all about that. So I really do like this lead. I'm going to lead them too. I am going to bring our Balaba in the back end. I'm really liking this Pokemon. It could be a solid choice later on in the match considering it has a Fairy Terra type. And it also has Dazzling Gleam and a ground uh, coverage move. Then last but not least, I think we go Arcanine. I think we just go same squad, different order, right? Same squad, different order. Arcanine's solid too. I just like Arcanine all around. I feel like if you're going to bring Bronzong or Grimstone, you would most likely lead this Pokemon. But since we're seeing so many Annihilates, I just feel like Pelipper is the best lead for that. At least with this team, you know? Because how else would I really counter? I have the Focus Ash with that. I can legit uh, Hurricane it if I, if I need to. Or I can just Protect and then Hurricane that Pokemon. Because chances are they're not going to waste their final Gambit on the Pelipper. They would rather use it on the other Pokemon. But these two come out here, which is totally fine. This is exactly why I went to the Gudra as well. Considering I can just straight Muddy Water. So Trist is going to fly. I think I Terra. I really do feel like I Terra here and I just pop a Muddy Water. And I could pop a Tailwind if I want to. Which I think I'm all about. I'd rather take full Bloom Speed. I mean, hmm. It could pop a Trick Room. Definitely an option. I'm, so, I'm, I'm still going to pop that. I'm still going to pop that. Because I feel like this Terra Muddy Water in the rain should be able to KO the Armor Rouge no problem. So Terrasla is coming out here. Yo, I'm loving Guja so far. I'm really, really liking Guja here. You're just looking real nice, especially with the rain. It's just so powerful. <laughs> it's so powerful. <laughs> We're just going to Terrasilize. We bring it to Water Typing. And Muddy Water's going to fly here. I think this KOs, right? It's got to KO the Armor Rouge. Yeah, Armor is gone. Armor Rouge is gone. Get it on out of here. Get it gone. Not dealing with it. Indeed, he's going to go for a what? A... Uh, Psychic? Expanding Force, maybe? Let's see what you're doing. Gleam. I'm fine with the Gleam. 
I'm fine with the gleam. Easy soaks. Now I can just muddy water to that. Uh, the next move, take out the Indeedee, chip up damage on the other one, and then hit it with a hurricane as well. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I'm all about it. I'm all about this turn. See, I love this lead. Just like thinking about it when I was uh, seeing our opponent's Pokemon, it just seemed too perfect. Whatever he went into, we kind of countered with this lead. So Miascarada is going to come out here. I could see a Sucker Punch flying, but um, obviously I want to go into a Hurricane. Give me no reason not to. Trick Room could come out here, but Hurricane Muddy Water? We got to see a Terrastalize coming out from uh, the Miascarada. But the problem is, if it changes typings from Grass, it is going to take a hard hit from Muddy Water. But if it doesn't change from Grass, it's going to take a hard hit from Hurricane. So we kind of we kind of had this Pokemon unlocked. It's going to drop a follow me. It doesn't matter. We're just going to outspeed. Take out the DD before me. Ask him goes. Hurricane's going to fly over. It is game, set, match. GG's light work. Light work. Pelipper and Gujra looking to sweep out here. Looking to sweep out. What an easy second battle for us. Perfectly played. Hurricane comes out here. I love that animation. That animation has not gotten old for me yet. I think it looks so sick. It reminds me of uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the wind tunnels. That if you use your like leaf glider, kind of pulls you up. But Nylight comes out here and it's over with. Dude stands no chance. Um, what would do more damage? This might do more damage just because it's rain. But I'm going to rock with it. I'm going to rock with the muddy water. Battle was canceled and a quick second battle sweep. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Swift Swim Floatzel team. They also have Pelper just like us, and then they're rocking Hydreigon, Gale Wing, Talon Flames, Annihilate again, which is such a pain in the neck, and then Mousehold. I feel like I have to lead Pelper just to kind of counter that uh, Annihilate. Or do we just let it, our Pokemon go down? I would love to set up screens and then go into, like, Gudra wouldn't be bad, right? Hmm. I could go screens, Gudra, and then go Arbalava, right? Arbalava's not too bad here. Um, psh, 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 psh. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I feel like we got to go screens. I really want to go in with... I'm thinking Gudra, but... Then he just takes out my Gudra with a Gambit. I could go Arcanine. I wouldn't mind him taking out Arcanine with a Gambit. Huh. I'm just going to hope he doesn't bring Annihilate, right? Like, obviously, I think Gudra and Pelipper would be the best combo to counter that, but I do not want to use that again. Just for recording purposes. I'd rather bring you guys something different. So I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. I really want to win this battle. If I was actually pushing ranks or if this was like a tournament play, I would lead the Gudra and Pelipper. But since I like making content for you guys, we're going to try to win this one without that same lead. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Considering we're 2-0. Oh. We're 2-0 right now. We guarantee ourselves a winning record. We're going to try to win in different ways for you guys. Let's see who our opponent ends up leading. My heart. It's broken. It's broken. Uh, I could protect the Gudra, which I'm kind of feeling right now. Obviously, I set up a reflect. Uh, I'm going to protect. Pfft, this sucks. This sucks. Um, Gambit kills us all day. I'm still going to protect them. We know the Gambit's got to be coming in here, right? The Gambit and potential population bomb, right? It might just double down and do some crazy damage to me. What is it doing? What did the beat up do? Yeah, what did that beat up do? Oh, he's oh, oh, Rage Fist is gonna do more damage. All right, I'm a little scared of that. Rage Fist is gonna do a bit more damage. I'm gonna do that. And I guess I'm Muddy Water here? Or do I just Drake a Meteor? I might just Drake a Meteor straight into the slot. I'm gonna Drake a Meteor the mouse hold. Beat up is making Rage Fist do even more. We already have Reflect set up, which isn't bad. Okay. I see. Kind of upset that we protected Gujra. I was scared of that. That, that final game, it's getting to me. So let's see what he does. I would just assume that he's Rage Fisting through. 
Gonna beat up again. Let's move stacking. We have to we have to do something about this. <laughs> we have to do something about this. I should double down and annihilate. Hit it four times and then jerk and just gonna fly. Probably should have went after annihilate with that. We almost get rid of mouse. Is that thing sashed? Of course it is. Who would have guessed it? Of course it's sashed. Can you go before the annihilate? Can you maybe drop a nice lovely spear break here? Rage fist coming in hot. It's gonna hit hard, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's hitting hard. Hitting a little too hard. Spirit Break coming in hot. We need a Pokemon with a double hitting move. Don't have anybody to hit double. Which would be nice. Special attack is going to drop. Annihilate is oh my. Oh my lord. I don't like this game. Not one bit. <laughs> Annihilate's like one of the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. It's just ridiculously OP. I could snarl here. I really do like snarl. It's gonna be able to hit one of my Pokemon though. Oh my god, we just defined popped it again. I gotta flare blitz it, right? This is tough. I mean, don't I have protect on it? I am gonna protect you. I have to, I have to, it's a must. We're gonna hope that he doesn't go for follow me. He's gonna terrestrialize. Smart cookie. Smart cookie. This annihilate scaring me. I'm going to water type me. Okay. So it, it's gotta be going after Arcanine at this point, right? We're gonna defiant pop it again though, which is rather scary. Um Arcanine protects. You going for follow me or no follow me's. There's the follow me. Alright, so we get to take out the mouse hole. We're gonna hope that he goes into me. Dream punch. Ho, 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 ho. This ain't no bueno. This is no good. This is no good. How, how can I... What? How can I counter this? I'm trying to think of how we can counter this. We're in such a terrible position. And now I might just steam, steamroll our team. See, he seems like he can one-shot with all these... uh, All these moves. I can't go into a, bal a Balaba. It's just going to dump on it. Our flare blitz is gonna do even less damage now. Like I have to just double down in this thing. Spirit break and a snarl. Our only only option. Protects, okay. Maybe hit me with a scald. This is a problem. This is a real problem. <laughs> if a Balaba can outspeed, I mean we can hit that thing with a Giga Drum, which would, could be pretty solid. And then maybe lower the special attack enough. Oh no, he sets up tail. Never mind. We can't outspeed anymore. This is just terrible. This is terrible. We, it's over. This, this match is 100% over. <laughs> do I run it or do I stay in? Because I know it's over. This match is 100% over. Match is 1000% over. We shouldn't have protected our Guja turn one. But I have to constantly attack it. I could Willow Wisp it, but how much damage is really, or what would it actually do? I mean, I'll try it, but Drain Punch is going to fly here. This thing's going up on the HP board. It hits way too hard. We're about to Defiant Pop it again. Never mind, I'm dead. No will wisp anyway. Hydro Pump comes in hot. It takes me out. Yeah. We stand no chance. Unless, hold up. I, I have a shot. I, I have a plan. I have, I, have, I have a plan. We still have Terra. I can see a Drain Punch coming into a Balaba. If I can terrestrialize, hit this thing with a Giga Drain, get all my HP back. I feel like there could be a shot here. A Balaba. I need you here, girl. Um, I don't think I have a Light Screen set up, so I might just set up a Light Screen at this point. Yeah, I reflect. I am going to set up the Light Screen. Just in case he wants to go after my Grimmsnarl. I'm going to do that. I'm going to terrestrialize, and I'm going to try to take this thing out. Because if I had to guess, the Drain Punch is coming into my Balaba. He can punch me. We can set the terrain after that. We can Giga Drain and get full HP back. He can even double down into me, but I have screen set up, which is really, really good. I really took out the mouse hold. Tailwind turns are running low. I feel like there's a semi shot here. Light screen out and about. A Balaba. Let's get it, girl. Drain Punch does go in the Grimstone. Wow. Surprise, surprise. That kind of hurts soul. But that forces the. Uh, the Pelper to hit my Abalava, which will set the terrain. She's just gorgeous. Hey, Pelper, what are you going for? Hurricane? 
Yeah, how you should soak that pretty well, right? Lovely. I like that. Seed sour coming out here. We do set that terrain. I'm looking for the comeback with the Balaba. Giga Jane, can you KO? Don't KO. That hurts. You don't KO. That kind of hurts. Alright. So KO does not come out here. I do have Gleam. Do we think Gleam could KO? Maybe. Probably not, right? I feel like Annihilate has to protect here. Annihilate has to protect. I'm going to go to a Giga Drain into you. I think I think Annihilate has to protect. We're going for the reads. We have to, we have to play very, very good if we want a shot at win this. No, it goes for a Rage Fist. And Rage Fist is stacked out of its mind. Plus another fine boost. Yeah. That's GG's. Only if that Abolava, Abolava would have KO'd that Annihilate. We maybe have had a shot, but it was not looking good for us. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and one and fully showcasing the Guja and Pelipper combo. Alongside with getting our Balaba out there, which is a really cool Pokemon that I have not seen on the rank ladder. So it's pretty cool to get that Pokemon out and showcase it a little bit. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.